Well, hello, Michael here, looking again at Spurgeon and the Psalms, uh, specifically to the aspect on Psalm 3, and it's subtitled here, The Lord Helps His Troubled People, a Psalm of David, when he fled from Absalom, his son. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. Doubtless, David felt this infernal suggestion to be staggering to his faith. If all the trials that come from heaven, all the temptations that ascend from hell, and all the crosses that arise from earth could be mixed and pressed together, they would not make a trial so terrible as that which is contained in this verse. It is the most bitter of all afflictions to be led to fear that there is no help for us in God. And yet remember our most blessed Savior had to endure this in the deepest degree when he cried, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? From Matthew twenty-seven forty-six. He knew full well what it was to walk in darkness and see no light. This was the curse of the curse. This was the wormwood mingled with gall. To be deserted by his father was worse than to be the despised of men. Surely we should love him who suffered this bitterest of temptations and trials for our sake. Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. Selah. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. Selah. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. Selah. Trust you enjoy that reflection on Psalm 3. Michael here declaring yet again, Jesus is Lord. Until next time, be blessed.